Hey! Hey yo! Holy wow! What's happening, buddy? Um, I'm chilling over here. I'm um, I'm in my room. I'm I'm having a cocktail. Oh yeah, what is that you're drinking? I I, I got a little crunch for time, and uh, I just dumped some whiskey and sugar into a glass with ice cubes. Mm. It's what you call an old-fashioned if it had uh, fruit juice. It doesn't. Right. No fruit juice. I'm a simple man. My tastes are simple. Uh, well, my Chris, are few. I'm, I'm a complex, elegant man. Yeah. The drink does have fruit juice. Oh, wow. Celebrating Christmas with some uh, grapefruit juice. Oh, I mean, also, also, also rum and pimento dram. I was hoping that it wasn't just a fruit drink like you're some old Chris, oldie in a... I'm at yeah. work. Yeah, I'm at work. That's of right. course, there's yeah. alcohol in it. That's true. You work with dangerous tools, including alcohol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, that's nice. We got some uh, folks on the line over here. Wow, we got a, we we've got already a lot of comments and some. Oh, yeah? uh, we've got nineteen thumbs ups. I Here's can some... I can see none of these, so you need to report to me. I'm that, gonna uh... I'm gonna toss oh, a yeah, few on go. the screen here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got that. Ooh. We got somebody saying evening all. Oh, Carmela, uh, very apt hype <laughs> pretty apt yeah our manager cat says gang that's true it's usually the extent of her commentary izzy adds gang 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 mm. now izzy's got a real managerial sense it seems like maite's here that's our uh social media manager maite helloing everybody there's a lot. Here's another. Here's a gang gang. <laughs> I'm not seeing. Oh, here we go. Here's something tangible, substantial. $10 bet that Keith is finishing up his cocktail of choice for the stream. Is that the case that you were doing that before we started? I think that now, was while well, we still I, that. I, I, I guess I'm wondering what Carmela meant by finishing up. Did you mean I was polishing one off in preparation? I think or so. Or that I was crafting one for the stream? Ah, so she may be one on a technicality, but I, I think she meant. Bo both are right. <laughs> both are right. <laughs> yeah. You're a scoundrel. Car Carmela, I got your back. $10, everybody owes $10 to Carmela. So I don't, I, how, many, how many people are watching? She'd be a very rich person right now. Uh, right now we've got, if I'm reading this correctly, 400,000 people watching. Holy um, Carmela windfall for Carmela! Everybody chip in a buck. And that's what viewers can expect from the We Are Scientists livestream catastrophe. A change of fortune. Redistribution of wealth. <laughs> and a crazy hey, fox. Get that fox out of here. Get him out of here. Oh, we need, we need, <laughs> come on. We need fencing. Come on. God, I mean, I like a fox as much. Get at it. Look. What God, is he? I, I don't understand what he's doing. Ah! Oh, if people are going to applaud him, he's just going to keep. That's, Come on. Yeah, the way you discipline a fox is not with polite applause. No, certainly not. It's with scowls. Scowls? Jeers. Howls. Can we jeer? Can we get jeers at the fox? I have a whip around here somewhere that I'll try to uh, try to bring into play. Please do. I'm gonna raise my raise my surface a little bit. Woo. What the? <laughs> Is that your torso? The sound of your torso <laughs> telescoping? Compressing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, this is exciting. It's exciting to be back. When I, I think Ooh. our last live stream catastrophe was uh, the Huffy release day. So we've holy we've cow. been out of action. We've We've been lax. We sure should. I have. apologize, Chris. We got to start doing this daily, twice daily, thrice daily again, just to get our chops back. Three times daily. Uh, that's a lot. Chris, I can that, do two. That'll get the chops back. I you guess. You know what? Any like any physical 
trainer will tell you if you haven't done an exercise in a long time, the best way to get back in the groove is to do it thrice, four times daily and hard. The problem is sort of a chicken or the egg uh, issue, though, um, if that's I don't know if if people refer to the chicken or the egg thing as an issue. Uh, but like if a chicken hasn't laid an egg in a long time, lay four or, you right? know, well, oh. in, it, so in this case, we would need to have our chops to do three a day. But you're saying in order to get our chops, uh, we do three a day. I, where to start? Three, uh, three a day. I told you, I guess this, just by, this is yeah. a recursive argument. You start at yeah. three a day. I guess that's true. Um, Keith, I, uh, we were preparing for this uh, live stream a few minutes ago, and you saw my dog, uh, Lily. Sopping wet. Sopping wet. She just Unseemly. came in. Yeah, she just Undignified. came in from a walk. It's raining mm -hmm. outside. Um, she was very wet. I had to towel her off. Um, but I was so proud of her. I mean, she really, you know, she handled, she handled that adversity so well. The, the and being I just wet part is what. The, yeah, just getting sopping wet. You know, some animals would. Your dog. Wait, we are still talking about your dog. Yeah. Yes. I mean, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of creatures get furious when they get wet, uh, angry when they get hot. You know, they now, just they have a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now is is Lily the sort of dog if when you take her to a body of water, does she retreat or? You know, she does not love a body in. of water. Mm. Yeah, so that's why that's why it's even. You know, rain is, is not easy for her. Yeah. Yeah. Rain's not easy for her. She's not a swimming dog. She's not a. At least she's. At least it's distributed. It's not an imposing mass. That's true. I think she thinks of it though uh, as it's coming from all directions. Like she can't tell it's only coming from straight up. She she thinks of the sides. I think as well. It's like how you notice I didn't suggest we should do to get our chops back for the live stream catastrophe that we should do three hours that's true we should do it in three in in broken up chunks the way lily takes her soakings yeah chop it up to get your chops distribute. <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway i just wanted to i oh, just wanted to sorry. come out here uh, publicly and say how very proud of lily i <laughs> am um <laughs> she's just been making so many great choices lately and I don't know how what your other, pets. I don't know how your pets are. choices has your dog been making? I'm well, like uh, in diet. She's just wait. Your dog's making like. Has she not been eating as many discarded rancid chicken bones on the sidewalk? Or are you suggesting that she's talking been about curating her own meals? Yeah, I'm talking about night. when when I mean I know I feed her well, you know, for her right. two two squares a day, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When I'm not around, I know she makes great choices, and that is just so rare with pets. Like I know, I know in your I, unfortunately, I know you. You uh, no, probably are aware it, you can't say the same. It is embarrassing uh, to note that occasionally, when I go to the cane household, there will be a plate sitting out on the floor. So I'm assuming it's for the dog, yeah. of of uh, really nice vegetables, some rice. Um, and you know, I'm usually when I come to your place, I'm, you know, three sheets to the wind. I, again, usually. I forgot, I forgot, I've forgotten to eat. And there have been many times when I've considered <laughs> getting down on all fours and chowing down on what, again, I'm assuming is your dog's meal. So that is, look, yeah. a, you know, whether or not your dog and I are making our own dietary choices, I can't say. I mean, I can't say. I'm not even talking about what I feed her, which, yes, is very high quality stuff. And of course, I mm -hmm. guess you learn this stuff at home. But it's 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 when she's away from the house. I mean, if you if, if you remember when we were kids, like you, kids make terrible choices, pets make terrible choices. I actually I didn't want this to have the feel of an intervention that it's starting to have here, but. Your pets, uh, come on, really pets bad, out of this. make really bad choices. I, I mean, in their defense, we don't, my pets aren't like out on the town with uh, pocket cash. Well, oh, I don't know how they you? get, I don't know how they get <laughs> their snacks, but they are out on the town. Why are you I, dubious about this? So, I actually sent, I have a friend who's a, you know, my friend who's a private investigator. No, I, I, I asked him to follow. 
Oh, I asked nice him nice. to follow uh, our pets, yours and mine, okay. and just photograph them uh, grabbing a snack. You could have cleared this with me before. I knew you wouldn't. Having I, I knew you wouldn't appreciate it. I knew you wouldn't give it the thumbs up, the green light. Uh, I just want to show you what Chuck. Yeah, my cat Chuck was eating. <laughs> Well, show me. Stop holding out on me, man. Uh, there's a, a, a pretty sizable stack of Oreo. I mean, surely he didn't eat all the. Look, I don't like him eating any Oreo those. cookies. He ate all those. <laughs> that's that's not great. That's not great. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? On a what day did the investigator follow them off? It might have been his birthday. Uh no it was no it was not it was it was the day the queen died if i remember correctly Ooh. so you know he was honoring i guess I in his way yeah yeah was she a big cookie fan that could i don't know what it was um unfortunately dewey what do you mean unfortunately not to... dewey's <laughs> look chuck is not the smartest beast i've ever wrangled with Granted. dewey though dewey could be in the gifted program yes yes They're like a first grade gifted level program i think easily i mean right. which is why I, I unfortunately i sense a bit of a criminal mastermind vibe coming off dewey oh, and i yeah. think when you see the photo that my pi friend was able to snap <laughs> okay. of him getting his snack <laughs> oh Good Look Lord. at the size of that hot dog. Yeah, where where do you even source? <laughs> Dewey's not for, big. for everybody at home. Dewey's a, a healthy size. He's a big cat. He's a he's a big cat, but he's not a, like you would say. Oh, you've got a cat, a bigger cat. You wouldn't say that something's wrong with how big that cat is. No. Or no. how? No. On the other hand, how very tiny. He <laughs> you be. wish he's not so small. As that hot dog makes him look, that hot dog is very large. Wait, that is a wait, very wait, large hot dog. wait. Now, the private detective you, I'm assuming, paid. <laughs> oh, he did it. <laughs> He's a friend. He's a friend. We, we do no, favors. But okay, so he didn't give you any info. He just sent you photos with no commentary about where they came from. He didn't even remark. To, look, <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be professional, but today I saw one of the craziest fucking things i've ever laid eyes upon regardless of whether a cat bought this hot dog i saw the biggest hot dog i've ever seen in my life <laughs> none of this no, he did. no now questions this, like that yeah i mean if you want to know where this was this was in a mall on long mm. island oh uh, oh yeah well long island's got dogs that big standard yeah that's that's probably a medium dog yeah i don't think he got the large <laughs> he's not that far gone he's a i mean he's he, a cat he knows he's, he's just a cat. a cat uh i was pretty happy to see shot of lily oh, that was fuck <laughs> off <laughs> i was very proud of my girl yeah. making what? good good choices both of my like it, regardless of what they're eating both of my cat's meals were just clearly lying on whatever surface was nearby you're just plating <laughs> you gotta bring it up again you don't have to bring it up again. come on that's a good dog that is a good dog whatever great choices fine that is she's making better choices than my cats are um we've been on the internet a lot lately transition mm. That was nice, Keith. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, wait, let me see if in the let me see if anybody in the comments had anything to say about our pets. I don't need any commentary from the peanut gallery, Chris. No, they're dead. They're silent. Silent as the crypt on. Oh, we started the live on the wrong link. It looks like I learned uh, for at four oh seven. That was eight minutes ago, though. So, can anybody see this? I wonder. Hmm. How come oh, were all those comments? Oh, are we just we're just plowing away to no one? Oh, let me. That's bad. Let's uh, let's let's uh, check real fast with our uh, 
social media director Maite. Please. I wonder where this is going. Do you think this is on the 21 pilots? Is that why we had 400,000 viewers? Oh, poor Carmela. Yeah. We'll never get that much, never from 21 Pilots fans. That's I know. Sure. Oh, An God. ungiving crop. Uh, let's see. My taste. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's telling us, what are we supposed to do? Uh, let's see if we are supposed to kill this or not. Oh, they, they can see us. Okay, okay. Everyone just can see us. We just can't account. hear you. I wonder how how did we get the how do we get the comments squirreled around? Yeah. Without uh, without, without the audience's uh, editorial initiative, we're sunk, Chris. When you think about how many different uh, routes there are on the internet, uh, it's not Chris, surprising. Uh, I spin out. The minute, anytime I start thinking about how many routes there are on the internet, I spin out. You know? Yeah, I'm in the same, I'm, I'm in largely the same boat. I have a little bit, I, 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 I kind of know where I'm going. But. Your framework <laughs> is a little more sound, yeah. Um, I'm glad we didn't lose the thread of the internet uh, because I wanted to oh. give people a sneak peek of uh, one of the sketches that we haven't actually managed to. Mm. Uh, find a time to post but we've been you know we've been kind of trying to split our our internet time between uh crossword and spelling puzzles promoting lobes and Obviously. then we've try been trying to put out some comedy videos you know, comedy content we like to do as a hobby for ourselves along with the crosswords and the spelling uh we have this <laughs> We have this sketch here that, uh, Keith, I know you know. You edited it, and I just I love, love it so much, and I, I'm I'm bummed we haven't put it out yet. So I wanted to give the folks on the live stream a sneak peek at this PSA we created. You sneaky peekers, you. Anything you want to anything you want to say to uh, lead into this PSA about about um, charging? Um, I would just say that the uh, the soundtrack is probably the direction our next album is going is, is going to follow. Yes. <clears throat> Perfect. Here we go. You no, know, my phone's almost dead. I'm gonna find an outlet. Never plug into City Power. Look here. Use this. Thanks, man. Yeah. No problem. Mm. What's going on with your laptop? Gonna Keep him on. That was uh, the war in the Crimea. Yeah. We've almost got it. Oh, did you know about uh, the latest? Oh, it feels really hot. Don't let him log okay. off. Where's your, uh, where, where's your mom? How's your mom? His social security hey, number. What's her address, by the way? We're in. We've got him. Oh, you know what? You're all good. I'm only on 23%. I'm out. <laughs> NYPD says, don't let the bad guys dredge your data. Use city power straight from the wall socket. Yeah. That's what that's wonderful, Chris. Wow. That's wonderful. <clears throat> I'm not sure I realized uh that they could get that they could get you through the power. I know I played a character that, in Chris, that. Chris, that's in that how show. they get you. I what had no idea. Talking about? Yeah. Um that does remind me that that uh, bit was filmed when we were deep in the throes of our great Fletch argument. Um, neither of us had seen Confess Fletch at that point. Yeah. Uh, you were adamantly against Confess Fletch. I was yes. adamantly pro Confess Fletch. Again, neither of us had seen it. Both based it was on no data. Yeah. <laughs> based on zero data. <laughs> uh, but we argued about it incessantly, bitterly, yes. I would say. Uh, yeah. And I think. Um, it's a it's it's a great example of the way people can unite when you will just sit down and break bread and uh, pour over your differences because in the end both of us felt totally neutral about confess Fletch when we finally yeah. watched it we learned neither of us gave a shit at all about confess Fletch yeah I definitely didn't feel negative about it uh, I think if anything though, did I maybe like it a little more than you did? 
Oh, oh God. I don't know. I don't know if we ever got to that. I I would well, say now, now that now that makes sense because my I expectations were sky high. Yeah. yeah, I had prepared myself to hate it. So actually, in a, if we could objectively somehow read uh, our just internal in the moment reactions to the film, you probably liked it a lot more than I did. <laughs> probably, but yeah. subjectively, you were let down because you expected to put it in your top ten of all time. Absolutely. I mean, it's in my. It's in. It's number ten. Oh. Lower than I, lo- so lower than I thought. <laughs> that is okay, but still, then yeah, you did end up liking it a little more than I a did. Dis- I a disappointment. <laughs> top top ten of all time. Um, this is technically a music podcast. Mm. Yeah. Do you know any songs? Well, I'm I'm distraught. Yeah. That um, <clears throat> someone requested operator because that's the one i did not rehearse uh, and yeah. i've been trying the if if i've uh seen sluggish in my responses is because i've been trying to remember how to play on an acoustic while we chat but i didn't so i'm gonna play less from you now yeah i'll keep thinking about <clears throat> how to how play, to play operator. operator uh and yeah just yeah. to just for you know from my end yes you have been sluggish in your responses <laughs> <laughs> uh, should I set up the stage? Oh, please. Well, yeah, what am I going to... Oh, yeah. Very nice. Walrus is back. Oh, I, I can't... Are you talking right now? Yep, sorry. I, I told go. Julian Casablancas he could come. I prefer that he not be here, but that... I'm, never, I'm never, like, mad to see Jules, but... Yeah. I mean, he's, he is throwing me off. He he is making uh, weird eye contact. I would say. Oh, that's Julian Casablancas for you. <laughs> yeah, per, per usual. I love his outfit. Right. I love his outfit. I, I mean, it looks great. Yeah. Oh, as always. Yeah. All right. I mean, <clears throat> he's he's gonna be mad that we're having the audience A B M with. That very handsome walrus. That gorgeous creature Nobody over there. Nobody's going to stand up against that. I was going to say, I, I, I was going to say toothsome fellow, and then I realized how Not big cool. his teeth are. Yeah. And I felt bad. Yeah, he doesn't like that <clears throat> adjective. Nor, nor I. Nor I. No. All right. I've been around. Long enough by now You think I know what to expect It's not profound I figured out I really ain't seen nothing yet I wouldn't be here If I thought This was all You've got I shouldn't need this So much Come on I expected nothing less from you Something I'm not seeing. I 
expected nothing less from you. Wow. Yeah. That did it. Julian seems pretty <laughs> psyched. He, oh, uh, he's glowering. Wait, I had the sorry, I had I had the audience reactions muted. Ah, thanks. There, they there they are. I had a mute <laughs> they were applauding. I had them muted. Well, they were there was a lot of chatter during the song. Oh, so. God. <laughs> Come on. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's for not sure. great. Not great. Not cool. Not that Hurt. cool. Um, so, what a tune. What a tune. Are you trying to segue into something right now? Or no. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, really. you're just rumi you're ruminating on the power of live music. Yeah, it takes me a second. I got to... I, like I go into a zone when I'm listening, you know, just that uh, music appreciation zone, and I can't, <laughs> I can't just come right out of it with a bunch of well, bone mo and. Hmm? Well, look, if you want to talk about top tunes, yeah. Um, did like you to. make your Did you make your top five of the year list yet? I haven't yet. No, no, hmm. I got to do that. Well, well oh, that you... was a man. That was a mandate for this. Actually, I'm <clears throat> seeing right now. My email didn't. My email didn't go out about the mandate. Well, I oh, made okay. my top five songs of the year, Chris. Oh, that time of the year, we're just compiling. We're just constantly compiling everything. Top everything of the year. You know. Uh, you understand that? Oh, wait. Do you understand that? I do. But speaking of no. emails going out. Hmm. Hold on one <laughs> sec, because I just realized that now, I didn't. That's a segue. Yeah, I didn't open the email that you sent uh -huh. that I think has to do with this. Give me one tight second, because I bet this is part of your bit. Well, Chris, this is I'm, how... a I'm a master of padding live entertainment. I should hope so. Top, top things? You're asking about top things? My Here are two of my top. These are the top. These are number three and four top rubber oh, bands of the year. No, haven't what? corroded. Don't haven't tell them about the. I can say what. It's These unbelievable to me that we actually common. did rehearse uh, this this part, and now uh, we're descending into. Well, we decided <clears throat> to cut it. We decided to cut it. The rubber band thing. Oh, oh the rubber bands. Thing. Yeah, but uh, had, had you been prepared, I wouldn't have gotten to go into the twenty. And but I've had you. Anybody understand rubber bands? Chris, I'm play all, the music. I sent you all the music I'm for all, this, too. I'm all set. I, we're, we're all oh, good to go on your oh, bed yes. if you want. <laughs> all right. Shit. All right. Guess I won't do my, my classic rubber bands bit. Hey, you're um, just in the interest of continuing a uh, behind the scenes sort of technical talk that shouldn't happen on the air. <laughs> you're, it's uh, your mic. Uh, suddenly changed. Oh, uh, but it sounds better now. I think. Yeah. Huh. Wait, wait. Tap your tap your big one. Oh yeah, it's... now it's that one, and before it wasn't. You sure? Yeah, I think so. But, I, I mean, mean, I'm hey. only noticing. The folks at home could weigh in, but <clears throat> I think um, it just got richer, smoother, hmm. more. Is more it just because I'm leaning into it a little more? No, 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 no. That's not making any difference at all. Uh, so you, so, so you actually know what your five favorite songs of the year are? That, I mean, Wait, no, I guess you now, put a well, lot it's too late this. for you to start acting surprised about this. Everybody knows this is a bit we've <laughs> talked about and you were meant to have gotten on board with. Oh, you're just deflecting is what it is. Well, so I, I do think it's worth acknowledging that I have no idea what your choices are. And in fact, I yeah. have not, uh, downloaded the material that you sent me to... <laughs> 
basically click play on. And indeed, it's been yeah. anonymized. What I've got over here is a couple of files that are marked one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, I'm uh, like, you be delighted and surprised. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I mean, I kind of have in mind what I think you probably. I'm assuming yeah, less I, from you, an operator I, error in the top three. I don't. But, well, I'm not going to put our look. Obviously, those are better songs than anybody else has put out. But <clears throat> it would be unseemly. Sorry, Julian, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he hasn't even put out right. new music. I don't know why he was making that stinky. But he face. he still gets yeah he's, he still becomes a rat fink when year end lists come out on years he hasn't put a damn thing out <laughs> and is this it is number one. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, okay. Well, Chris, yeah, I think I think you are not going to be terribly surprised. Um, okay. Let me share. I'm gonna share a screen. Um, yeah, why don't, why don't we share that? Um, so my number one Ooh, yeah. is, I... well, in, in, you know, sort of descending order, um, Charlie XCX. Oh yeah. Good old Charlie. We both, love we this. both love, now technically this song is 2021, but, um, the album's this year. Yeah. And yeah. boy, boy, did it crush. What a winner. Loved it. Loved it. Boys, I've always like really liked Charlie XCX, but good God, what an album! Yeah, crazy, mm -hmm. crazy how good that record was. I I listened to it top to bottom at least once a week, and in the week or two or three after it came out, I was just I was on it all the time. Yeah, but Chris, you know that I am a musical omnivore. Yeah, I'm a yeah. I, 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 people, people, people uh, consider me a polyglot. I would use know? that phrase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you won't be surprised that my next song is, is pretty uh, stylistically different. Okay. Um, my my number two of the year is by the amazing um, singer songwriter Clifford Danton. Sorry, I had to look up just. I said something happened off screen. Um, it's from his album, Reposing in the Posy. Dude, if you could settle. Uh, song song number two of the year is One Lump or Two, if you could, uh, if you okay. could play it right now. Yeah. Yeah. You're, I oh. think you're playing. Uh, that's you're, Charlie that's, XX. Here we go. My tastes are more varied. Gluten free, yeah. chewy wheat protein to do for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know that someday or she will see my yeah. body's also gluten free. That's me. My body's also gluten free. That's great. Sometimes yeah, I see a really nice woman who eats wheat. Keep those dark perversions away from me. I wanna keep it clean. Yeah. What's he doing? What's he talking about? What's he talking about there? You know what? Uh, the uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, <laughs> I think. He, he seems a little fixated on, uh, you know, glut gluten free yeah. stuff. And, uh, but, this, I mean, it's just a beautiful love song i think I I'm, I'm, well i'm not so i'm not definitely. gonna get in the weeds uh i mean look look a uh, one uh, uh, a, a cool, writerly cool yeah, uh, yeah cool uh, like a, a writerly um bit of genius is delivering specificity and making it universal so i guess he was getting in the weeds about this gluten thing and yeah it's fine now no, you're right my you're number right. my number three of the year a little yep. more, a little more fun. That Clifford Clifford Denton can be, you know, a bit of a bit of a wet blanket sometimes. But yeah, I wouldn't um, put it on at a party. Yeah, but you know what you would put on in a party? Buckle nuts. <laughs> Buckle nuts. <laughs> this is ankle biters from Bow Down to the Round Town Crowd. No chewy wheat proteins will do for she. I'll know that someday, oh, she will see My mm. body's also gluten-free That's me My body's also gluten-free <laughs> Sometimes I see a woman 
Sometimes I hear about a woman who eats wheat. Keep those dark versions away from me. I wanna keep it clean. <laughs> look, look, Chris, I'm a musical omnivore. I'm a polyglot. So right. I just I like all these different styles. They all <laughs> Yeah. They all just the I could just like I can see great songwriting regardless of um you know the style. So look, I just everything <laughs> I like is gonna be wildly different. Okay. Yeah. Just like stylistically that one was a little dramatically. Old. But that one is a little closer to uh, the the what was his name? Clanton. Clifford 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 Danton. Wait, <laughs> yeah. you think that sounded anything like Clifford Danton? The you know reposing and that sound like those guys are reposing in any posy, dude. It was more. It was Jesus. more. It was hopping. It was hopping a little more. You're but... damn right. It was hopping. That's buckle nuts, man. Straight out of <laughs> Lexington, Kentucky. I mean, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, I, I, loved thought it. You, I thought you might. I thought yeah. you might. I so anyway. You, yeah, I wish you'd oh, play me this stuff. I never hear this stuff. Oh, I, I actually had assumed maybe you had sent me buckle nuts. Um, anyway. <laughs> no. Chris, I'm a, yeah. look, one thing people say about me is I'm a musical omnivore. I'm a polyglot. Right. Your taste is so, Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my number four of the year is from the Sisyphus Initiative. Oh, cool. From their album, My Mandy Problem. This is Mandy Did It Again. I dig this. Yeah, I thought you would. I want to rule my nose gluten free. No chewy with proteins would do for she. If only she could stop and then she would see. My body's also gluten free. That's me. My body's also gluten free. Sometimes I hear about a woman who eats weed Keep those dark perversions away from me I want to keep it clean I mean, yeah. that is edgy stuff But that I was like a, it I'm yeah. a polyglot Yeah, that was I, I like that electronic uh, Almost like craft work era Mm -hmm. vibes more modern concerns in the lyrics i guess <laughs> what i mean uh, look it's 2022 man that's people like you know there's a little cry i don't i don't know what you're anyway well, it had that it had that gluten-free thing again uh, yeah I, don't worry about it but i just i noticed okay. that there was a lyrical similarity to one or two of your other tracks. Um, but I mean, they, they're all, sorry, they're all in English, dude. I'm a polyglot <laughs> musically, not. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. It's not. So there's going to be, you're going to hear, you're going to hear words that reappear in other people's songs. Right. Like love, uh, right. you know, night gluten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is that in another that one? Was in the last, it was in the last three, but. All right. <laughs> okay. That's, I don't know. Uh, well, you remember you played Charlie XEX twice accidentally, so I think you might be thinking of that. Uh, anyway, my number okay, five, yeah. my number five is from the County Alfred Players. It's from it's a live album. They, County Alfred Players playing County Alfred. Oh, I know a woman who's dairy free, no milky white fluid will do for she. I only hope that someday or oh, she will see My body's also dairy free, that's me My body's also dairy free Sometimes I hear about a woman who drinks cream Keep those dark perversions away from me I wanna keep it clean No cheese So I admit that one's a little similar to the Buckle Nuts song. Yeah. Just it's got that kind of like southern southern vibe. 
but I'm a polyglot. So I, to me, they're, I just see the similarities, I guess. I don't know, but man, those are my top five of the year, buddy. I uh, am surprised. I'll just say, uh, yeah, you know, I'm surprised. Him. you know, I'm an omnivore. I guess I did. Know musically, that musically. I knew your tastes were broad. I knew you listened to a little bit of everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it shouldn't, I shouldn't be surprised, I guess that, uh, how utterly diverse my tastes Truly yeah, not. especially between the first one and the second one. That <laughs> that that was, I think that was that was like the speed bump. What, what was the was first? Like, oh, what was the first one again? Clifford, uh, Clifford, Clifford Danton and Buggle Nuts. No, the, it was the Charlie XCX first, and then oh went right, into Clifford, right, 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 Clifford Danton. I think Clifford and, Danton actually had a feat on a Charlie song. It's I don't know. I think maybe I, that's how I heard of him. I thought you maybe no. had sent. No, I definitely didn't send it to you, and I've never heard of him. I, I, I'm a pretty big Charlie fan. I, I don't think he's been on any of her track. Maybe she but was on one of his. But you're no omnivore. You're no polyglot. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's true. It's funny that you keep using the word omnivore when one of the major concerns in these songs is <laughs> your dietary restrictions, but or what? the Wait. restrictions of the artist there's a cheese thing i know you seem to have a pre- players you seem to like listening cheese. to artists talk about their dietary preferences i don't know what you're talking about. i don't know anyway want to rattle off your quick top five or anything or uh <laughs> <laughs> i i uh they're not ready i will i will get them ready for the next um for the next live stream i i good, just good 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 yeah um and i i obviously one thing i've learned is that there's just a lot out there that i need to check out before i make any grand proclamations about <laughs> top fives a lot of this stuff i haven't even heard uh i think maybe sisyphus initiative was on the fletch uh soundtrack maybe that's where right. so you should know that one uh, was it yeah. i i listened to it or i watched it i should say on a plane and listen uh, so maybe yeah, it was you know, yeah, just a lot of ambient, ambient noise roar yeah mm-hmm. um wow a lot, yeah. a lot to a lot to digest uh keith mm-hmm. we've been out of season long enough um we mentioned that the last live stream uh catastrophe was on the day of huffy's release mm. And during that yeah. time, our, our management has not been still for a moment. And they have drummed up uh, a lot of interest in participation. A lot of people want to participate in this uh, live visual podcast. So it's Cat bringing Julian Casablancas. Is that why he's Cat invi- Actually, I, I think Cat spoke to somebody uh you know kind of a corporate bigwig who knows julian and let julian know that we were doing this he hit me up and said can i come you know and i was like sure yeah if you want to sit if you want to sit in the audience sit quietly Um, yeah and to be and to be fair to julian hasn't made a peep he's like uh mick jagger at the all you need is love performance (laughs) sit there and soak it in dumbass don't ruin it for everyone else. Uh, we turned down a lot of things. We turned down a lot of stuff, We, especially for this first episode back. We wanted to kind of, I mean, you know this, but I'm saying it for the folks at home. Season premiere is a big deal, man. We wanted to get things rolling. We wanted to kind of, uh, you know, kick the rust off. Obviously, like we apparently launched this stream on, uh, on the wrong location <laughs> on YouTube. For exa- that, just as one example of the just kind of a rust, rant, just a re- yeah, I guess like an example that that'll resonate. That'll resonate. With the audience, <laughs> yeah. Something everybody here is familiar with. Um, so there's rust. We didn't want to sell any big. We didn't want to make any big uh, promotional sales, but we did agree to um, taking on uh, what I think is basically an offer we couldn't refuse. Uh, we have the only piece of promo. That is being done. 
uh, for a new film that's coming out during this Christmas season. I think it's actually out uh, tomorrow, uh, and which will place it in direct competition with with a movie that we're really excited about, uh, Avatar. Actually, Avatar can we do sh- the way of water? Yeah. Can we show our real quick? It's a bit of a diversion, but can we show our whale? We have a four eyed whale that we spent just to uh, scoop Cameron real a quick. A million man hours on. Uh, getting just getting the tech there. Is that? And look, this is this is rich. It's as if the whale. Sorry, I'll. Yeah, no, it's. Oh, look at that! Yes. Wow, that is beautiful. Love that guy, love that guy. So anyway, that... but. I, I have it on good authority. That's twice as long as the four-eyed whale in Avatar appears. Correct. You're right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. I saw an advanced screening. I don't want to speak uh, extensively here, but yes, on that point, you are correct. Um, now, this movie, which is coming out tomorrow, a little more of a drama. It's going to oh. be, I think... Uh, it's like an Oscar. As- They're putting it out. Just in time, it, so we can compete in the Oscars. It's obviously Oscar bait. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's for it's for grownups. Thank God. I mean, I like the Marvel movies just as much as anybody else. But I do you miss adult dramas like The English <sighs> Patient or you know oh, Shakespeare God. in Love or I mean you know even uh, anything with a Fines brother will will suit <laughs> you. I would. I would I would take anything with a fines brother at this point. Um, I, this this one one ups both of those. I think does it have a um, third fines brother in it? It's got it's got maybe the only actor that I esteem above the fines clan. Okay, let me this. I gotta see. Um, and I'm pretty excited that we are actually debuting uh, this snippet from the film, and uh, then we have a very special. Uh, interview afterwards that um, oh. that I that I kind of kept a secret because I think you're going to be pretty excited. But uh, let's check out this yeah. snippet from mm. uh, a movie coming out tomorrow, Salazar's Monk. Oh. Uh, and this is this is not the trailer. This is a snippet from the film that I I've seen. It's amazing. Let's check it out. I don't even know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. You asked me if you could come out here. What did I tell you? I mean, you asked me, and I knew you were going to come out no matter what I said, but what did I tell you? It's my ass. It's not yours. It's my ass. You understand that. I wouldn't even be in this situation if it wasn't for you. You brought down so much fucking heat on me. Do you remember what I told you? Hey, buddy, you okay? That's a snippet from Salazar's Monk, which is out tomorrow in theaters. It's going head to head with Avatar 2, which is about the bravest thing you can attempt uh, in film. Uh, (laughs) I mean, I guess it's appealing. It's appealing to a very, it's appealing to an art house crowd. It's appealing to an art house crowd. Yeah. Who, who are more interested in, um, dialogue relationship drama not four-eyed whales and whatnot amen uh listen i oh. i could talk <laughs> even about just because i haven't seen the film yet we could talk about that snippet all day i'm sure but i actually we have scored an incredible interview and you no. are now he, no. he would only he would only allow one of us to speak to him i'm gonna i'm gonna reach so i gotta sit out no, you are going to be interviewing uh, one of the greatest actors of our time. Uh, I, I'm going to route it. I'm going to production handle production over here on my yeah. end. And you are going to now interview <laughs> Robert De Niro. Um, Bobby, Bobby and, D. And Let think, me wear my notes. Yeah. I actually to... keep yeah. Robert De Niro questions. <laughs> Just in case. Around. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, ask him anything, but I think he wants, obviously, you know, he wants to talk about Salazar's, <laughs> Salazar's monk. Salazar's um, monk. Hold on, let me. <laughs> yeah, write that, that down. Yeah. <laughs> well, he'll know. He'll know that. No, well, I just want to make, sh- I want him to know that I know. Yeah. Okay. So let me, let me go over to him. Uh, this, I'm not exactly sure how this works. He's in um, California, but let me see here. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, what, what is, I mean, I guess I shouldn't spend too much time asking about analyze that, which are what, if I'm being honest, most of my questions are about, but like, how, how did he understand what Mr. (laughs) Mr. De Niro, (laughs) sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. De Niro. Well, uh, welcome to the live stream catastrophe. Your nose, you know, yeah, there you go. There you go. Mr. De Niro, a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. Uh, hi. Well, it's hello. Good to, it's good to talk to you. I apologize that you uh, popped in as I was uh, musing over how to avoid <laughs> asking too much about Analyze That, but you got to understand, big fan of the Analyze series. The wonderful movies. Okay. Okay. Good. So you're not insulted um, that uh, some of us simply can't get I, like. For me, you're always going to be the guy, the mafia guy, with it, who gets analyzed. That's actually how I think of myself. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, but I, I recognize that you're here um, to talk about uh, Salazar's <laughs> Salazar's monk. Um, so I'm going to let you get any talking points out of the way before I just geek out. Okay. Any, well, anything? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, Please. It, was, it was a wonderful experience to film with Marty again. We have a rich history. Oh, it's a De Niro. It's a De Niro. Sorry. It's De Niro. He, De Niro directed. Is he executive producer? He's directing this? Scorsese. Yeah. No. Oh, sorry. Scorsese, Scorsese is uh Sorry, I'm looking at De Niro, and every 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 other word gonna come out of my mouth gonna be De Niro. Marty Scorsese. Uh, Ma- Scorsese is uh, a film. Did a little he, film called. Uh, no, I know who Mar- I know who Scorsese is. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm eyeballing. Uh, to, if I'm being honest, um, while while I made that uh, slip up, I was looking at your bib. Your the uh, yeah. um, Salazar's monk. Well, okay, so I can't help but notice there are a couple of elements in it that I want to address. Um, I noticed that parenthetically, there's a there's an e- ey in there, um, and there is a, a there is a monkey. All yeah. one of the few things I know about the film is that there is a monkey in it. Uh, is that parenthetical going to be in the title? Is That's is the, the title. Ti- is that how the title is spelled? Salazar's monk, yeah. and then we just drop. The parenthetical. You don't pronounce the. You don't pronounce what's in between the parentheses. It's it's okay. Salaz, Sal, Salazar's monk. Okay, but the monk, is there? But the monk is me, a monkey. Let me. Okay, so there is it. I mean, well, okay. Let me just. Uh, and I apologize. I'm, I, I, I. This was sprung on me at the last minute. Now, is the monk? Does the monkey have any uh, religious authority in the film? He's trained as a monk. He <laughs> okay, uh, so that's vow, kind of, that clarifies it entirely. Okay, taking yes, his vows. So, I'm sorry. These are all of my notes are about to analyze that. Taking his uh, vows. Now, now, if I could, if I could just um, <laughs> wait. Okay, back up. Do we see any of this? Is that? The, please tell me this isn't all backstory. We saving see that, this. Saving that for the prequel. Oh God! So we just hear about this monkey's time prepping for the monkhood. What you would basically see in this film is my character, Salazar, yeah, going to find this monk mm-hmm. so that he can help humankind survive an alien what? Wait. Uh, Sorry. invasion. I, w- I was led to understand that this is like sort of an... I mean, Chris was talking about the English patient. Uh, did you talk to Chris? I guess he was essentially the producer of this. Yeah, Chris, there's no. an alien. 
There's an alien invasion. The aliens are threatening the planet of Earth. We have <laughs> right. we set out That's to way. we set out to prevent them from prevailing, as any sensible person would. And right, any sensible person or primate or just you know lower primate. The pri the, the the primate in question uh, does not know uh, about the invasion. He's at he's at peace. He's he's peacefully meditating <laughs> on top of his mountain in the Nepalese Himalaya. And we have to seek him out. There's a team. There's a whole cat. There's a whole. It's a whole ensemble cast. We seek him out. We find him, and of course, he possesses the secret to. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to i don't want too many spoilers i don't want too many spoilers but but can i ask mr de niro can i ask yeah do the do the, the, the uh, is his expertise the, is the expertise that helps save humanity based more in his religious <laughs> training or in that he's a, a monkey no no spoilers no spoilers i just want to is there? Couldn't there be? Couldn't there? Could there have been a n different monkey uh, um, consulted? He's the only. I I don't want to give away the plot too much. Yeah, he's please. the only one still alive in that monastery because the aliens have already gotten there, <laughs> and they have they've killed all of the human monks, but they didn't see him as a threat. <laughs> they didn't see him as a monk. I guess. <laughs> I just perhaps understandably well thank Chris, uh, I mean <laughs> Mr. De Niro thank goodness they don't have uh, a subtle understanding of religious practice on planet earth they couldn't know that monkeys I guess on this earth are as profoundly uh, <laughs> potent in uh you know, our, our religious tears. Well, he just, he has a USB drive. The monkey does? Yeah. With the targeting, with the, with oh. the targeting for their ship. What? What? Oh my God. Uh, well, Mr. De before, before I let you go, and I'm going to now, can I ask what's, uh, what's with that, uh, the battle axe on your on your bib. How does that come into play? The monkey's been trained in battle axe. That's his, you know, all the monks get their weapon that they're trained in, and the monkey is trained in the battle axe. That's a, sell, this is sounding this is sounding more and more like a Marvel film to me. This is the this, monks are trained with battle axes. This bib is from the promotional uh, the promotional line for the film. You can buy this at uh all of the stores or at our at the website for the film in I'll fact sure to... <laughs> did they send did they send you a picture of the uh of the other of the other item that we're trying no to... no these are all my notes and they're mostly ah yeah is yeah, that a is. symbol case a, a drum symbol case that is a that is a hose bag <laughs> For a gar for a <laughs> for a garden hose. Wait, and so the two pretty, the, oh pretty sorry, clever. please. Pretty clever because it looks look looks a bit like a monkey's tail. A hose does? Or the yeah. bag itself? Nah, um, no, uh, it seems equally is, likely. The, the, hose. <laughs> the hose you put inside. <laughs> looks like a monkey's tail. Is that Sorry, were you instrumental in this piece of merchandise, or are you just towing the party idea. line on it? It was my <laughs> okay, idea. So you're, okay, understandable. Well, Mr. De Niro, thank you so much for blessing it's been, us. It's been a pleasure. It's been, <laughs> yeah, you seem, you've, you're ex <laughs> <laughs> not a very expressive actor. That's the thing I like about you. You don't emote. You don't emote. You don't ham it up doll in the eyes <laughs> is that what they tell you is that your most uh, commonly delivered note 
That's, that's my note to directors. It's your it's note. Is that you'll be dull in the eyes on this take? Your idea for this it's character all in is the eyes. <laughs> Mr. De Niro. Thanks. You go. Uh, Julian Casablancas is somewhere uh, in the other room. Where Chris, you know, just sit, take a pull up a seat next to Julian. All right. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Say hi to uh, Marty Scorsese for me. Wow. Holy well, shit. that was a scoop. That was a scoop. I honestly wish i had been briefed on did you maybe send me the promotional materials in an email i didn't open because i was deeply unprepared yes i sent you an email uh one a day for the last week you never replied mm. that you all, did the great. Ones that, thank you thank you well you did great. is bobby bobby d still <clears throat> still there yeah, he's hanging out. Okay, he's excited. Well, I'm gonna to I'm gonna this. play. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna play another one. I'll set up this the one stage. Is for, it's for my guy Bobby. I mean, no offense, Julian. It's oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Bobby. I, I can't but notice that you and uh, Robert De Niro shop at the same. Uh, oh. When he showed up, I gave him, he, he was like, I like that jacket. And so I gave it to him and I you had, got a, you had, I had to get another one. Yeah, oh, you to. ran out while we were doing the interview, you popped out. I, and... Yeah, popped out and grabbed another one. I was like, shit, <laughs> holy Christ. I mean, well, no, I mean, he showed up at my house this morning at 6 a.m. Oh, uh, you had plenty of time. Yeah. I had a long, I had plenty. I had, a, I had an actually a very long day with Robert De Niro. Uh, no, no, no offense, sir. Was wonderful. He seems pretty stoic about it. He's unper unperturbed. Did yeah. Julian Julian left? Uh, Julian is here. Julian's in the little cabinet right now. I'm gonna mm. see if I can get him back. Um, where is he? He ought not be doing that. Julian, God <clears throat> damn it! Oh, there he is. There's our guy. Mm. He's gonna sit right next to Mr. Robert De Niro. Actually. That's pretty lovely. Cool. Yeah. And I'll All be right. over here. This one's for uh, Bobby D. You made your bed. Should I be worried? I'd say fair's fair. But nothing really was. Taking long enough, nothing changed. Pretending I was sure, wash away whatever was before. Surely this not been Surely this is for the best. I know I was lucky. I've forgotten how the uh, <clears throat> second verse starts. You said fair's fair. That's the second line of the second verse. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh. I can't believe sleeping on this. No, see, now you've poisoned my mind because that's not the second line of the second verse. Is it? That's the uh, second line of the first verse. Uh, hold on, I can check real fast. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got the lyrics right here. Lose <laughs> lyrics. Okay, you ready? 
Yeah, talk to me. Uh, I can't believe we're sleeping on this. You're questioning and I'm withholding. Gotcha. I can't believe we're sleeping on this. You're questioning and I'm withholding. But there's no need to be so wild. Thanks for the assist, buddy. Thanks for nothing, Julian. Hey, Chris, your applause is unnecessary, but welcome. Yeah. Thanks. Woo! That was well, tight. I mean, I wouldn't say it was tight. That was tight. If you play it half that well at the shows in February, I'll be We'll be ruined. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this has been a pretty exciting way to kick off that rust. Yeah, yeah. Three times a day, every day for the next three months. I think if we just, yeah, we just do a three a day stream morning, noon and night. We'll be we'll, we will be right where we want to be in three months. <laughs> um, next time we'll try to do it on the advertised link. But Whatever. honestly, this worked great. What are we so, cowards? Yeah, seems like that might be an outmoded methodology. And sometimes Sweet. it's if you look at the history of. Uh, of science it's often the accidents that prove so salient and uh and seminal and formative Mm. Mm -hmm. you know like uh louis pasteur when he invented the hot air balloon he was just trying to figure out a way to get his dog out of a tree and accidentally created a system by which it whatever Whatever. <laughs> Listen, we're already at an hour eleven. We probably can't get into the Louis Pasteur story. I'll prepare a slideshow for next time. We Wonderful. gotta wrap this up. Yeah. We gotta wrap Dump this it, up. Chris. Dump it. <laughs> Dump it.
We're back. There's one more thing I wanted to say, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you for holding my hand through this. An honor. A pleasure. What are you and and also what are you up to with uh Bobby De Niro tonight? Uh can I, he wants to can I, cl- and can I can it. I come? Okay, so he, am I you got any pluses or he has one and I guess that's we'll figure it out. All right. We're gonna figure it out. Let me call. Yeah, I think it's gonna be yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, see, I'm thirsty for that. I'm thirsty for that. My drink bottomed out legitimately an hour ago. That's nice. God, I, that looks uh, like it's nice. I can bring you I'm, one of these. I'm going to be drinking melted ice just because it might have remnants. I, I'll bring you one of these. All right. Come on over. Bring me one, buddy. All right. See you soon. I appreciate it. Bye, man. <laughs>